friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my ww barbecue grilling out this summer series i cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys we are making two different kebabs and some barbecue roasted potatoes and everything was so incredibly delicious and the points were so good for all of the food and it was so absolutely delicious i can't wait to share these recipes with you so if you want to see what i have in store with you for another episode in my ww barbecue series then all you have to do is keep watching For tonight's barbecue series recipe, we are going to be making chicken and sausage kebabs, and then we're gonna skewer and roast up some veggies on the grill as well. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. So first for the kebabs, I decided to go ahead and use this raw chicken fajita mix from Foster Farms. Now you can just use regular chicken breast. The actual recipe wants you to marinate regular chicken breasts and sausage in a marinade, but I thought for time's sake, I would use this plus the flavor is delicious of this chicken. So I'm just going to use this again, fajita Foster Farms chicken. You're going to need four red potatoes, whatever sausage you want. I have this turkey kielbasa from Hillshire Farm. You're going to need a pineapple. And then for some seasoning for the veggies and the kebabs, I have salt and pepper. And then on my vegetables, I'm going to be using this citrus grove from Dax. Now, I love Dax. Their spices have zero salt. They are all natural no MSG, nothing artificial. So if you're watching your salt, especially before weigh-in, these spices are so good. The flavor is amazing. And again, there is no salt. So this particular one I really like on veggies, and this has spices, lemon peel, lime peel, and orange peel. That's it. All natural, real ingredients, and this is delicious on veggies. And then for my potatoes, and for my sausage, I'm gonna be using the green zest from Dax. This, I would say, is my very favorite Dax spice. And again, no salt, all natural. And this particular one has spices, dehydrated onion, garlic, lemon peel, and then just a little bit of anti-caking agent. And I love this one. This one is delicious on pretty much everything. So I might even add a little bit of this to my veggie kebabs as well. So. I highly recommend Dax. Again, they're a real all natural spice and they have no salt. If you're interested, you can order right off their website. If you use my discount code here on the screen, you'll get 10% off and free shipping. They have over 20 spices and every single one is delicious. Highly recommend Dax. So definitely check out their website. And then for veggies, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some zucchinis that I have and some mushrooms and I'm just gonna skewer those. I may even do onion. I actually, you know what? I may do onion on there as well and make a veggie kebab and we'll top it with that Dax Citrus Grove. So let's get started putting together our barbecue dinner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up my potatoes. I'm gonna cube these so that I can skewer them really easy. I did decide to add a little bit of red onion so I'm gonna chop up some of that chop up my zucchinis, and then we'll move into our pineapple and our sausage. we're going to do is season up our potatoes. So I'm going to spray it with some of this Pam olive oil spray. 
This is zero smart points, but this is more like olive oil than the canned nonstick cooking spray. So I'm just gonna dust my potatoes with a little bit of the spray, give them kind of a quick stir. That's just gonna help all of our seasoning stick really well to our potatoes. And again, it is zero points for the amount that we used. We're gonna go ahead and add some black pepper. And we're just gonna put these in the fridge for about 10, 15 minutes or so, and just let them really absorb all these spices. And then some salt, of course. And lastly, the star of the show, our Dax Green Zest. We're gonna add that to the potatoes. Yum, I cannot wait. This seasoning is seriously a game changer. And go ahead and give that a quick stir. And again, we're just gonna pop this in the refrigerator just while our grill's heating up and we're seasoning up our veggies. But there are your seasoned potatoes. Now we need to season up our veggies. So I'm gonna start here with my mushrooms. I'm gonna do the spray, same thing, kind of spray these with my olive oil cooking spray. And this will also help your veggies not stick to the grill since we are going to skewer these as well. So give them just kind of a quick stir to get that olive oil coated. And then again, we're gonna add some pepper. We're gonna add some salt. And this time we're gonna add our citrus grove to our mushrooms. And then we're gonna give that a stir. And again, I'm gonna put these into the refrigerator to kind of absorb all that deliciousness. And I'm gonna swap you out and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here to our zucchini and our onions. We're gonna spray them and add our seasonings. So we're ready to skewer our veggies. I've had my sticks soaking in a wet paper towel. That prevents them from burning on the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out six of them, which is the number that I'm gonna do of veggie skewers and just set those aside. I've got my mushrooms, my zucchini, and my onions. And basically, I'm just going to start skewering my veggies and I'm just going to fill my kebab with some of each of my veggies. So mushrooms, zucchini, and onion, and we're just gonna fill these up, and they'll be ready to go on the grill with our sausage and chicken kebab. So there we have it, easy peasy. It's just time to skewer. So here are our veggie skewers. These look incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the fridge and let's put together our chicken sausage and pineapple skewers. Next, we're gonna put together our meat skewers. So I'm gonna start with a piece of sausage at the bottom just because that will kind of hold everything together. And then I have my pieces of fajita chicken and a slice of pineapple. And then we're just gonna repeat that until we have our skewers all full of chicken, pineapple, and sausage. sausage, chicken, and pineapple skewers. So again, I'm gonna pop these in the fridge until the barbecue is ready, and then we'll get everything on the barbecue. So I realized that I forgot to skewer my potatoes, so we're gonna go ahead and put them in a foil pack. What you can do is add these to the skewers with the sausage and pineapple, but we're just gonna foil pack them. They'll still be delicious. So lay out a sheet of foil, lay out your potatoes. It's best to have them in a single layer if possible. They'll just cook a little bit better. Get another piece of foil, lay it on top, and then we're just gonna roll our edges and we're gonna create a pack with the foil that will hold the potatoes in. And make sure you get your edges nice and tightly rolled, otherwise when you go to flip your pack, your potatoes will all fall out. I've had that happen. So get your pack all nice and tight and then you can just flip it over on the barbecue. Dinner is on the grill. We've got our potatoes in the foil pack, veggie skewers, 
chicken sausage and pineapple skewers. You guys, is this not summer dinner delight or what? Yum, look at how delicious this looks. You always have a couple of scape artists, like these random zucchinis or pineapples that fall on your grill, but you just scoop them up, and then my potatoes are coming along nicely in the foil pack. So it is just about ready. All right, our kebabs are done. These look incredible. There's our veggie skewers and our foil pack potatoes. So let me go ahead and dish up my serving and I'll show you what we're having and give you the smart point. All right, so here is my completed dinner. So I have some of the potatoes and two of the veggie skewers and two of the sausage, chicken, and pineapple skewers. So this entire barbecue dinner is only six smart points. The only things that have points are the potatoes and the sausage. So what a fantastic summer dinner for six points. Thank you for joining me in another WW Barbecue series. I hope you enjoyed these recipes as much as we did. We loved them. These are definitely must make again barbecue recipes. My husband had them for leftovers, loved them. Everything was so incredibly delicious. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell so that you don't miss a single video. I have tons of series, everything from barbecue, instant pot, air fryer, and we even started a vegetarian series. So you don't want to miss a single video. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know. Are you going to try these barbecue recipes? I think that you should because they're absolutely delicious. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.